Hi everyone, it's Raja and Aja, and you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. Hi treasures, it's me, Bendela Cram, and I am so excited to tell you that I am going to be at DragCon this year, May 11th, 12th, and 13th at the LA Convention Center. This year, it's going to be in the South Hall, which means that it's going to be even bigger than ever, because the South Hall's bigger, get it? Where you get your tickets, I'll tell ya. RuPaul'sDragCon.com, that's where. Oh, 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 oh! Single day tickets are also available now, so act now. Will I see you there? This week we've got Aja back in the house. Where the f is Raven? Ma, she's just missing. We put enough signs. She's on the, all the milk cartons. And this week we'll be talking about the looks of season 10 of All right, so we're talking about season 10. We're talking about this week's uh, theme and challenge, which is mermaid realness. What is it called? Mermaid? Fantasy, mermaid mm. fantasy. Bitch, hold on. I said that I took Madonna very seriously, hats very seriously, but I also take mermaids very, very seriously. Absolutely, these uh, are our people. Honey, these are people. We are both from the ocean. My gills, okay. my gills. <laughs> fish, fish right here, fish the two of us. Ma, two women judging women. Fish women. Let's hope all the bitches serve the runway mermaid realness fantasy of life! Ma! Sis! Sis! Ma! The entire look is inspired by the divine Miss M, Miss Bette Midler herself, who used to come out on stage, uh, you know, dressed as a mermaid, wheelchair, fantasy. So all the Ma. girls were carted out, wheeled out on wheelchairs. Um, I've been wheeled out of a club before. I'm very sure of that. <laughs> First contestant, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring to the stage the one, the only, Monique Arch. The makeup is good. I like that the fin matches like the earring. It's like, I'm sorry, I forgot to manscape today, but you don't have to call me out. <laughs> Shady. Available at DragCon. I like it, it's, it's safe. Mm. For me, um, I like the hair color. Everybody knows that my natural hair color is lavender. Um, I like the fin. It's mermaid though, honey. We're talking about some serious here. We're not around anymore. This is season 10 and the theme is mermaid. Can we talk, reiterate, talk again? Bring that back to me and see to me what you really mean. It's, it's a, a boot. It, it's a boot. It's you think so, you think it's a boot? Bitch, it's so weird. I think it's like for me, it's like it's there. Mm. It's not there, but it's no, like no. it's safe. I, I don't. There's nothing. I'm gonna be really hard on this because it's mermaid. She looks like a squid. She's literally calamari. <laughs> squid like, or fish? No, I don't give a. F She's the theme was mermaid, not squid aid. Maybe it's neither. For me, it's neither. Is there something between shoot and boot? We can think of one. Um, you can be the first. Like it's just like newt, like neutral. It's just like newt. It's just like newt. Like it's not good, but it's not bad. Boys and girls and everything days in between. Newt. Yeah. Newt. Yeah. But, but for me, it's actually not a newt. It's a boot. But if you want a newt about it, then newt all you want. Next we have Ms. Cracker. Cracker. I love Ms. Cracker. Uh, I'm not crazy with the entire ensemble as a whole. Honey. I go, feel like the headpiece and the bra go really well together, but I feel like uh, the fin being gold is not enough to match it to everything. Oh my god. I don't know. It's the, made out of construction paper. What is that? Go ahead. I just wish the scales were either all pink or all blue. Like I, I, need, I think there needed to be either something to tie it in or contrast it. I don't know. For me, no. for me it's a boot. It is like sad mermaid. It is a sardine. <laughs> okay? It is a canned <laughs> sardine. Not a beautifully like sea salted one in, in Barcelona in the summer. She looks like she has a frog foot. I am not a crazy about the fin shape. Oh my god. This is a boot. A boot. Next we have Aquaria. 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 
I really love like how the top looks like it's melting tar <laughs> under her body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the wet hair. She's the first queen uh, that we've seen uh, today wearing like wet hair. They're mermaids. Mm -hmm. Mermaids don't have dry hair. Well, it's Gaga. I see the reference because Gaga did a mermaid tail look with oil oh. slick like black paint all over her. And I definitely see that reference. But Clever loves it into it, loves it, loves it, loves it. And I like the fin. The fin looks like it's like distressed and shredded. Ooh. This mermaid has been through That's your new drag name. Distress? Distressed and shredded. Like cheese, oh my god. Ooh. And leather, leather fringe. Mm -hmm. I love this, I love this look. I love that it's black, I love that yes. it's oil slicked. And uh, even though we're talking about the mermaid fin, mm -hmm. I think a really intense highlight mm -hmm. shimmer for all black is like, ugh. It, mm. To me, this is a boot. I mean, this is a two. Raj wants to beat my ass. It's a two, it's no, a two. It's a two, it's a two. It's a two, it's a two, 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 two the two. move. Toot. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to the stage, Asia O'Hara. Ew. I'm not completely crazy about the silhouette, but I will say I'm happy she did like not the traditional mermaid silhouette because she had something else. But the face, like it, it's like, this is giving me like dimension. There's a story here. Like mm -hmm. she's just not a fish. She's a sad fish. She's a mermaid. She's been through some stuff. Most things that are mystical and like weird in the ocean are kind of ugly, right? Yes. So like she went for that. She went for like ugly pretty. And I'll say this, uh, Asia uh, all season has used like these like weird problematic patterns. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that she incorporated that into this because uh, a lot of times like to me, four way stretch uh, spandex can kind of come off really cheap, but when you use use it and mm -hmm. utilize it and really make it work mm -hmm. and put it together, you get yeah. this, you get Asia O'Hara. I love it. I think it's it's ingenious. It's like another way of looking at things and I'm all about bitches who look outside of the box and not think, and so far all I've seen is, you know, boxed fish stick and this one is live, it is a thriving in the ocean and no one has discovered her yet. And they've pulled her out of water because she's like, <laughs> Uh, I will say this though, Asia so far this season has worn a lot of nude illusion. Mm. I want to see some of her like actual like skin too. Oh, show us your body, queen. I give Asia O'Hara a toot. Toot. Next we have the Vixen boot. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I come on. It's a boot for me as well. I wish that the tail would have had a higher cut, like, like a V cut for the waistline, because the the belly button and then like the abs, like it's sexy, but like I feel like I don't know the fin just starts too low. I like that Vixen is doing the bra thing, but here again, the bra feels like displaced. Like before, it was that it was too low. Now it's too spaced out, and uh, I'm not saying that I get to choose where you put your titties, but. Those titties are really far titties. Like, you know, that's like the cross-eyed titty right now. Like, it's just like, I like the hair and I like the crown. Uh, I just, this is not super unique. I give the Vixen a boot. I give it a boot as well. Boot. Next we have Cameron Michaels. I love this. I didn't think I would like the green hair with the uh, red, but I like the way the green melts into like a green blonde, like pumpkin fantasy. Well, I just like the fact that she looks like a fish, like the, the fin, like the, the tail looks, oh. it gives me like koi fish. It like gives me salmon. It gives me pescatory delights. <laughs> I, like, I love this. I like the details, and I like that she has little Side fins, fins on the, yes. yes. It's not some like cardboard thing stuck to the bottom of an old flipper, pool flipper. Like, give me a break. This actually looks fish-like, ocean-like, and I live for this fish realness. I give it a two. She is the whore of mermaids, mm -hmm. and I live, so I'm going to give this a two. <laughs> And the, the bra is great, the, the jeweling, the seashells, the yesness. And even the detailing in the fin, like the colors mm -hmm. where they blend. Oh, too. Beautiful, too. Ladies and gentlemen, next we have Mona Arnon. Mona Arnon. 
No. Yes, exactly. <laughs> She's next, and she is giving us mermaids. Is that a landmine on her? Or? It's like a mace. I love this. She's giving me battlefish. I love that her mermaid is different. Yeah. It's like, this is different. It's fishy, like aquatic-y, but like she obviously has like a scar on her fin. Yeah, like, I like that. She's think, gone through some stuff. I think as mermaids, we're all slightly scarred. I think this is my favorite Monet look that she has worn this season. And mm -hmm. it's also the fishiest. No, that was a bad pun. Oh my God, <laughs> you're so dumb. Marna on Ash. Looks amazing to me. I love this look. I give this a toot. I give it a toot. Okay, next we have Eureka. Ooh. Ooh. I like that it's a fin with a nude illusion on the tail. <laughs> Sis, this is so hilarious because I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, you know what? I love this thing from the fin and that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> I like, uh, well, I like the arm gauntlet fin moment. I'm not crazy about the top half either, uh, but I do love the fin. I love the cutouts and um, for me, I'm, I'm on the fence, but like, I, I think for me, this is like a safe choose for Eureka. I just, the only thing I would change is the hair and the top. It's baggy, it's like, she needs some stones. She needs to stone her fin. I don't, girl, please. It's the only thing really wonderful, like I said, is the fin itself. And I wish other girls would have taken note or had the advantage to create something as wonderful as that fin. But everything else, <sighs> I wish someone wore their fin as like lingerie with like a garter belt. Been there, done it. I'll show you pictures. And Gag. this is a absolute boot for me. I'm not really into this. I see the intention, but I just find it to be very lackluster and without embellishments, and it needs more. I agree, but I'm gonna toot it because I I like I like I like where it's going. I just wish I had more finesse. Mm. Or for me, the finesse, finesse. <laughs> Trend alert. Fish. Mm, fish. Giving me fish, giving me fish sticks, giving me ocean, mm. giving me aquatic, mm. giving me life, oh, giving me fantasy. oxygen, giving me gills, mm. giving me underwater fish. Fish, 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 mm. fish, 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 fish. Our top two of the, the week is. is. All right, we had a tie. Yeah. It's very personal to us, this mermaid theme. Aja's got her own and Raja's got hers. So Aja, you first. My top two of the week is Monet Exchange. Uh, I just live for the storyline and the uh, uniqueness. Yes, God. My top two of the week is Aquaria. Yeah. I love it. She looks like a evil little battling fish drenched in yeah. oil. Yes, yes, yes. She's Aquaria. an evil little bitch. Bitch. She's a mer, a mer bitch. She's a mer bitch. You're kind of a mer bitch. Oh my God. <laughs> Are we done with her? Send me home. <laughs> <laughs> Tune into VH1 Thursday nights for a new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 10. Check out the link below and make sure that you can watch RuPaul's Drag Race in whatever country you're in on WOW Presents Plus. Ew. Ow. <laughs> make sure you come see us, Raja and Aja. Woo. Doing fashion photo review live at Dragon. Dragon 2018. Come see us. Ew. We're gonna be getting crazy. We're gonna be getting buck wild. <laughs> Especially Raja. Don't trust her. Mostly crazy. me. <laughs> <laughs>